Welcome back friends. Today we are going to talk about string, string buffer and string builder. See here is a, my sample class. In the sample class I have defined the um, array list. It is a country data. In the constructor I am populating the some countries. Okay. Now I want to manipulate the countries that added in uh, in my country data list uh, that is um, whenever uh, call the some method print data string print data string buffer print data string builder there is a three method right whenever call that method i want to return entire country as a one string i want to return entire country as a one string here we can we have a three approach one we can use string another one you can use string buffer another one is you can use string builder now we need, we need to choose which one is the best one. Here what I am doing print data string. The print data string uh, ins inside the method I am iterating the list object. In the list object, um, iterating the list object inside the for loop I am adding the countries and appending the country to in my countries string object. Country string, string object. What will happen here? You know string is a immutable class. What is the meaning of immutable class? Immutable mean unchangeable. Immutable mean unchangeable. You cannot once created, you cannot change it. Okay, that is the meaning of immutable. Whenever you add new country to the countries, what's happening here? It will create a new string object. It will create a new string object. For example, in the first iteration, India, right? That India will come and assign here. In the in that situation, it will create a new string object. Okay, the second iteration what will happen? The India is there here, India is already there, then India plus Australia. That time again it will create a new string object. So each iteration it will create a new string object. And um, that will become a problem. That will become a problem. Let's say in the real time project you have a thousands of data, lakhs of data. When you iterate like this, what will happen? Thousands of objects created lacks of object creator in your memory your application will have a performance issue if you are using string you will face a performance issue so please avoid this kind of code while manipulating a string while manipulating a string you can go with either uh, string buffer or string builder we can go with either string buffer or string builder both are um, almost same okay uh, what is the difference string buffer string buffer is a mutable and it is a thread safe let's say your program your particular program dealing with thread dealing with a thread the in in that case you need to choose string buffer you need to choose string buffer if your program is not dealing with a thread in that case you you can go with a string builder if your program not dealing with thread we have to go with string builder because string builder give more performance when compared to string buffer buffer why because string buffer is a thread safe it's a synchronized method string builder is a not a thread safe it's not a synchronized method that's the reason i'm saying if your particular program not dealing with any thread you can choose string builder if your particular program dealing with thread we have to go with string buffer okay print data string buffer method if you see this method i am using string buffer from the string buffer i am using append method to append all the countries to append all the countries if you look at this method inside a string buffer class it's a synchronized that is the reason i am saying if your program deals with thread you have to go with string buffer okay print data string builder this method using string builder class string builder class the string builder also having append method using append method i am appending the countries okay if you see this method this is not a synchronized method this is not a synchronized method that is the reason i am saying if your program not dealing with any thread you can choose string builder okay Okay guys, the next video I will come up with some other coding practice. Until then, bye bye from Suresh.
still not subscribe this channel please subscribe it share this video to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates thanks for watching this full video until then bye bye from suresh